Welcome back everyone to more Amnesia The Dark Descent. So, last time we left off with something in the water. But at the same time we're, we just kind of ended up in the water. So let's go ahead and just take a little peek. Just a little bit and then see exactly what the hell it is that we're looking at. Uh... Because if I remember correctly, you don't see this thing. You just don't see it. It just is there. Like right off the bat, just absolute total chaos. It's in here with us. Yeah, God, God. Um, okay, so there's that thing over there. I've always wondered if there's anything uh, laying around. So I. Oh god, no, no, jump it! Oh god, Daniel! Jesus Christ. Biblia! Biblioteca! Throw the. No, the Bible's not working. Holy shit! Look at that! That's. Okay. Is there anything over there? I don't see anything. All I see is. books. Like, Ugh! Daniel, Daniel, run, Daniel. Go this way, Daniel. There's nothing over here, nothing over there. I don't see anything over here. Daniel's starting to freak out for some random reason. Let's do this. Nothing here, but we know it's there, though. Ugh. Ah! Ho, ho, ho! No, sir! That's not gonna happen. No! Nope. Okay. Good God, what have I done? Laudanum. Okay, so... Clearly the Laudanum is there because this thing... Can effectively... Is there anything over there? <laughs> I wanna know so badly. I'm gonna... I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Okay, all right, uh, okay, there's nothing here. It's kind of pointless, all right. Jump it. I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Back up. And uppy, uppy. All right, so that thing, you see that gate over there? Let's, let's take this off. There's a gate over there, but the lever is... Oh, God damn, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like saying that word, but sometimes it's just... It just happens. It comes out. Okay. I'm making a way for it. Making a way for it. Oh my god. I'm like, ay! No, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh my god. Bad, bad jumps. Bad jumps. Okay. Whoo! Whoo! Okay. Go all the way up. Oh my god. No! No! Okay. Da uh, David. Daniel. Run. This is. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Jump! Jump! Woo! Oh! Oh god, is it in here with me? Are there two of them now? Oh no! Oh boy. Here's a little kicker though, this is fun. Let's go ahead and, uh... Toss that over there. It looks like there's only one of them now. Go over there. I should not have done that. That was a huge mistake. <laughs> oh my god, okay. What if I... Uh, slowly... Drop it in there. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna drop that there, right? I'm gonna grab... This. <laughs> I'm gonna drop that there, and I'm gonna play a game here. Okay, this is good. Stop! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! No! Oh! 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 Okay. All right. Let's toss that over there. Distracted. I'm taking this hand with me just in case. 
Wait for it. You can hear it eating. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, yes. It's still eating over there, so I'm gonna give it that. And I'm also going to give it that. Shit! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to start eating. There. Okay, it's, it's busy. Okay, I think I made it. No, nope, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Luck with a simple luck! Oh god! Come on! Get it! It's right there! Oh shit, it's breaking through the door! Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> oh god. Woo! Woo! Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt uh, himself being dragged along the, by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. Oh god, we're still in water? Fucking A. Alright, well I'm gonna be closing this up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god damn it, no. Which way? Does it matter? It's all the same. Why do the doors open inward? Why can't they open out? Oh god. Okay, this is helpful. This is helpful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even want to look away. I don't want to look back. No, 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 no. Oh my god. What? What is this? There's so much shit everywhere. Oh god. Okay. Go, go, go. Close the door! I don't know if it's that thing, or the, the... Oh my god, I need want to look back. Just go, just go, just go. Ooh. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. This music! The lacquered hull of the SS uh, Hortensia glittered in the soothing warm yellow light of a setting sun. Escape artist. Why did I get that achievement? Because I didn't get hurt? I didn't even read that whole thing. I'm so like That is so intense, man. That is probably one of the most intense parts of this game. And then you're met with this. It's guiding me. Hmm. Nice soothing music. I'll take a nice little shower. Yeah, that's nice. My god. Alright. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of the out of the bath or the shower, the fountain. Why can I grab this? Does Daniel like to splash? Okay. Let's take a look around. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. Nice. Got a little little payload after that horrifying experience. What do we got over here? Another doorway down there. That doorway basically opened up for us. Um, now, I do remember exactly what's down here. So, we need to acquire certain things to get... It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. 
This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Right. Uh, so that being said, the door's basically opened up, but unfortunately, it's not working. So we're going to have to figure out a way to make it work. Anything around the lions? I don't recall anything being around the lions. No. Okay. So there's uh, that room right there, which is the contraption room, essentially. It's almost like the... Uh, the room, the enti an entire area based solely on th the elevator, the ascending room, whatever they call it. But we're going to go up here first. The study and the guest room. So let's see what we got in here. Is this another dream, he thought, and screamed at the top of his lungs. Oof. Oy, oy, oy. All right. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? All right, so you know the the Madagascar cockroaches are back. So what, someone ransacked his room, from what I can tell? A stuffed rabbit? Or would that be a stuffed hare? Not really sure. Oh, hey, there was something here. It's a good thing it kind of has like a light glow, otherwise I would have missed it completely. Uh, yeah, what do we got? 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right, close that up. Maybe there's something in the middle drawer. Ah-ha-ha! Laudanum! Thankfully, we don't have to... We never had to... I mean, we used the one time, but it really didn't do anything. Um... What the hell happened in here? Okay. Tinder box. Another tinder box over here. Get that out the way. Oh, hello. A crowbar. Interesting. Nothing else over here, but another note. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. <clears throat> May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued hmm. reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? What the fuck? 
Is there a second orb? Or maybe it... Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Huh. That... I don't remember that at all. So he's having nightmares. But is it because of the orb? Maybe the... Uh, inc uh, I, would, I want to definitely say it's intriguing uh, that the orb is, is doing that. So he has an orb. But Herbert also had an orb. Hmm. I'm trying to 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 remember, but it's it's the door is stuck due to a broken lock. Well, I have this. Let's try to wedge it open. Ah! The key. Please let it be here. All right. What do we got? Fourth of July, Oof. 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. Ooh. The relic pieces <laughs> lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Hmm. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. I'd say so. Uh, doesn't really make much sense to me. Alright, uh... Okay, so he was in here looking for a key, right? Okay, that was that door. And there we have it. Thank God, there it is. It is a good place to hide it then. Is it? Alright, pick her up. Machine room key. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's the machine room key, basically. That'll get us into the room to turn on the elevator. Okay, so I guess we can... The fuck was that noise? Okay. The get out to the back hall. That's basically everything in there, I think. The Book of Monarchs. Hmm. All right, but we, of course, before we go into the into that room, let's go into the study and see what we got. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. I wonder what all this means. Like, it's a small story within a story, kind of. Like an epilogue as you read it. Basically joining into the game, I think. Um. Oh. Whoa. That's a lot of extra stuff here. It's not necessarily dark. Look, it's an orb. <laughs> All right, let me pick that up. There's nothing. Okay, so he, it's dark enough for for Mr. Daniel here to to start freaking out. So let's not do that. And I'm out of juice. Pick that up. Anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's let's refill the 
Okay. All right, there you go, buddy. Don't panic. We got this. That's a lot of miscellaneous stuff in here. All right, what's in... What am I hearing? Eh. I'm hearing dogs whimpering. There's a lot of books I can pick up. Ah, something that I can read myself. Here we go. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the, the Helloy Drummus ex, uh, described, described it in the Hortus Conclusus, my god. It was as it, it, was, as it was told about, an underground myth, uh, Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an import impossibly impos wow. It was an impossibility, an artificial parrot uh, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As I can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground cab uh, chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing because of my curiosity. I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber in and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine and I stumbled upon some men fishing the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. Yeah, right, so they can get eaten and distract the creature. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. You see what I'm talking about? Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Black with leaves of cinder and ground covered in musky water, I pressed on through the drenched, uh, the drenched land as the glowing ember gave away to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This suddenly, uh, this certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away from the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the hollowing cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time I spoke, you told, uh, the last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstad. Your friend and mentor, Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Oh. Okay. So Agrippa found the orb first. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so there's nothing else here except for that letter. And let's go this way. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? What is happening? 
The crack window panes are held together only by a weak wooden frame. Yeah, I can see something on the other side too, so... I'm... It, this is a taxidermy room. Huh. Intriguing. Understanding balance. The canine jaw. Somebody taxidermied this dog very clearly. Christ! Oh, there's something else here. Oh my. <laughs> At least it's only one. Canis Lupus Familiaris, 1658, April 12. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an indigenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the, that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It seeks a cosmic genesis. There is an in inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process to torch of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed. But it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount of ne the amount necessary. It might be their ability to pr appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Are you freaking kidding? So this dude experimented on dogs first. You hear that? Oh, it just landed like that. Oh boy. Sorry, dude. What a dickhead. Look at him. Who is this asshole? Is this, uh... Is this, uh, Richard or whatever the frick his name is? I can't remember his name right now. Oh my god. 1658, January 9th. <laughs> Further disappointment, the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its re uh, relation to power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. No, dickhead. Not gonna happen. Whoa. That's really fucking ominous. 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 Look at all these fucking human skulls. Look at this. That is six skulls. This guy is a piece of work. Can I? What the hell is the point of that? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see if I can find anything in here. Aha. Uh -huh. As you can see, you're, the, it's tinder boxes galore, but I mean, nothing else here from what I can tell. Huh. Another book and a lot of, a lot of pained dogs from what I can tell. Yeah, look at this shit. Oh my god, this guy's an asshole. You, sir, are a dickhead. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Uh, for this room, anyway. There's a freaking pigeon in there, too. Like. Let's see what you have to oh, come on. No, dude. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. What the hell? Oh, I did not want to be a part of that. Oh, you poor thing. You poor thing. Oh, God. 
Why? Why are you such a dickhead? <laughs> Fucking asshole. Alright, well. It's... <sighs> still hear it. And there's nothing here. So I, I'm gonna... Right, right, he's freaking out. Let me grab something. Uh, let's grab this hammer. And uh, break this window here. Woo! Pick it up. Okay, so we're gonna... Hop at it! Hop at it! Holy crap, the forest! It's got that webbing! It's moving! Well, at least there's an owl still alive over here. Alright, man. What do we got? Oh, what is this? Oh, nothing. <laughs> we got this, I think it's like a save point. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Uh, mankind has not even wasted a breath, and yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Uh, this... Oh, yes! How much do I have? Eh, good enough. Oh god, what is this? Oh, okay. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machine. Okay, so this is something that I'm going to use uh, in the next episode, as well as this thing. It's a good thing I came here first. Flow cycle rod. Okay, so that is another piece of the puzzle. 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 Another piece of the puzzle. <laughs> that was missing that I forgot about uh, so we needed to come here first anyway sweet okay anything about this no can I oh hello all right let me let me get out of here before this guy freaks out anything else here oh no I guess that's it all right let's uh Let's, let me actually, you know what? Let me end it right here next to this thing so we know exactly where we're at. Uh, we'll keep going back and I guess hopefully try to use the elevator and get it to work next episode. And then I guess we're going down. And, oh, poor things, poor doggies. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you're enjoying. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And like always, I hope you have a wonderful day.